Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nick. I'm going to show you really quickly how to run a um, sponsorship report for so you can build a uh, success club leaderboard or a three lives leaderboard. So I'm going to share my screen out here and show you exactly how I do this and make it very quick and easy. All right. So first off, you're going to log into your coach online office and you're going to go to my business, my downline and sponsorship drill down. From the sponsorship drill down, you're going to go right here where it says filter report. Levels, you're going to change to all so you get everything. And the desired format is going to be Excel. And then you click show report. And it's going to download the uh, report. So now I'm going to open the report up. And this is just a raw extract of everybody, right? So I'm going to delete these columns up here. You don't really need to do that. It just makes it a little bit easier. So the only columns I care about for this report are first name, last name, and um, current uh, success club points right here in column P. Um, if I was doing a end of month leaderboard for the previous month, I would go to prior SC points, right? So like when November's over and I we're in December, I'll look at prior SC points, get the points out of November. This report is only ever going to show you the current month and the last month success club points. So you can't go back further than that. So I'm just going to delete these other columns right here. I just highlight them across the top, right click, delete. So I'm left with just the information I care about, which is first name, last name, current SC points. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the three uh, columns here and I'm going to sort these. So I'm going to sort by. Um, current success club points, largest to smallest. And then just to make it uh, fair, I'm going to sort my first name after that, right? So if a bunch of people are sitting at six or eight, I'm not, you know, it's just going alphabetically by first name. Okay, boom, done. So now we've got basically all the way down here to number one. This is all the people that are in success club um, or that have earned a success club point so far uh, this month. So now what I'm going to do is just to make this look a little bit better. Right now I've got these in three different columns. So it's not easy to get into the leaderboard. So I'm going to do, there's an Excel formula called concatenate. And concatenate just combines these different columns into one, into one uh, cell. So I'm going to do equals concatenate. I'm going to click first name, comma. I'm going to do um, uh, apostrophe, space, apostrophe. That puts a space in between comma, last name, comma, and then apostrophe, I'm going to put a dash in here, comma, current SC points. And then that's the end of that formula. So now you can see it's now it's in one column that says um, Jane Sturgill 8. Now I'm just going to drag this down for the rest of the people who have hit, who got a uh, successful point at least. So now I've got everyone here. Now the only other thing I want to do really quick is just make the case look a little bit better. I don't want it all in caps. So I'm just going to type it here the same exact way you see to the left. Oops, I have a typo. S T U R G E L L, two L's. Okay, and there's a button here called Flash Fill. Click it and boom, it's done. So now I've got something that I can copy and paste really quickly into my leaderboard document. So first thing I'm going to do is um, we've got uh, two different cat, uh, three different categories: Success Club Five, Success Club Ten, and um, just people who are on the board. So I'm going to start with everyone who's above, who's five and up. So right here, I'm going to copy these ones out. Copy. I'm going to go to Canva. I like using Canva for this. You can use PicMonkey too, but the reason I like Canva is because it saves your document. So especially with leaderboards, where I'm doing this usually on a, on the first week of the month, middle of the month the third week of the month, and then the end of the month, I can reuse the same template over and over again, and all I have to do is just change the names in it without having to recreate the entire thing from scratch every time. So I'm going to add body text here. I'm going to paste it in, and here's everyone that's in currently in the three lives club. Three lives meaning um, three challenge packs. That's a, usually five to six points. And let me go back to my Excel spreadsheet. Now these, um, you can see on the bottom right, there's count of 20. There's 20. Uh, names that are here. So that's a lot to put in one row. So I'm going to do is just break it out to 10 by 10 and 10. So I'm going to take the first 10 right here, copy, post it right here. Oops, I'm moving my turkey around. 
and and then I'm gonna do these ones right here. And that's it. <clears throat> now all I have to do is just you know make it look a little bit nicer, change some fonts and things around and whatever. And that's it. I'll save it. And then when I go to do the mid month one, I'm just gonna delete out these this information right here and just put the new names in for people as they progress through here. So that's it. Nice and easy. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Bye.